News Channel 3 is taking an in-depth look at the past year, focusing on a variety of topics that made headlines in our valley. Much like the previous two years, health topics dominated our coverage. Information changed rapidly surrounding the coronavirus, but this year included concerns about another virus, monkeypox. Tonight, I'm taking a look back at the health stories that affected all our lives throughout 2022. Much like 2021, 2022 began and ended with concerns about COVID. In January, surging cases hit the state, forcing the extension of the indoor mask mandate. My thing for me has always been the safety of my customers and their family first. Riverside County Courts also suspended new jury trials, and the first infant in the county died from COVID. In response to the spike in COVID cases, Eisenhower Hospital limited visitors. In February, California ended the indoor mask mandate for people who were vaccinated, but schools still required masks. Palm Springs also became the last Valley City to remove vaccination and mask mandates. I mean, it's a good feeling to finally get back to a normal stage in life, especially after like two years of like the whole mask mandate, and, you know, the virus being around. In April, masks were no longer required in airports or for mass transportation. Apart from COVID, more than 100 shuttle bus drivers at the Coachella Music Festival became sick, with nearly 50 of them sent to the hospital after eating a catered dinner. We're trying to uh, nail down what exactly the, the, uh, the reason why everybody got sick. It was later determined the driver suffered from staphylococcal food poisoning after eating a pasta dish and prepackaged salad. In July, the CDC confirmed the Valley's first case of monkeypox, a man who shared his story exclusively with News Channel 3. I not only had the lesions, I had night sweats that were so significant it caused me to have to go sleep in another bedroom because the, the sheets were just absolutely soaked, along with fever, along with headache, along with body ache. And I was that close, phone in hand, to calling 911 because I just didn't think I could like make it with how I felt. More Valley monkeypox patients also began sharing their stories with News Channel 3, demanding county health officials do more to help. It's been incredibly frustrating because I've been, nobody has taken control of the case. There's no case manager. Um, I've been involved in my own advocacy for this problem. In just one week, cases of monkeypox in the Valley quadrupled, and in August, both the state and county declared monkeypox a public health emergency. In December, another virus emerged, the flu, with California reporting what the CDC described as very high levels. Visits to doctor's offices and emergency rooms skyrocketed to the highest they've been in the last decade. Why do you think that there are such high levels of influenza A, especially among children? Well, I think uh, it's pretty clear that the last two years, children have been um, isolated um, significantly from school exposures and group exposures. So you're seeing really three years worth of flu exposure in one year. 2022 is ending with a winter flurry of illness. The flu, RSV and COVID creating a triple whammy that has many doctors concerned heading into 2023. A lot of happiness here. Yeah, we wish everyone good health going into yeah. 2023. Absolutely.